best from moments. And a lot more are going to die unless he gets a lot smarter, a lot quicker. So, Mr. President, did you use the word smart? Uh, so you said you went to Delaware State, but you forgot the name of your college. <laughs> you didn't go to Delaware State. You graduated either the lowest or almost the lowest in your class. Don't ever use the word smart with me. Don't ever use that word. Oh, give me a break. Because you know what? There's nothing smart about you, Joe. You know, I confronted Kim Jong-un, and all of a sudden I got a call they'd like to meet. He said, I have a red button on my desk, meaning a nuclear button. I said, I have a red button on my desk too, but it's bigger and stronger than yours, and mine works. Why does that matter? Why is this a global competition to you if everyday Americans are still losing their lives and we're still seeing more cases every day? Well, they're losing their lives everywhere in the world. And maybe that's a question you should ask China. Don't ask me. Ask China that question, okay? When you ask them that question, you may get a very unusual answer. Yes, behind you, please. Sir, why are you saying that to me specifically? I'm telling you, I'm not saying it specifically to anybody. I'm saying it to anybody that would ask a nasty question That's like that. That's not a nasty Please question. go ahead. Why does it matter? When okay, uh, anybody else? Please go ahead in the back, please. I have, to, I have two questions. No, it's okay. But we'll you pointed here. to me. I have two questions, Mr. Next. President. Next, next, please. But you did. You called on me. I did, and you didn't respond, and now I'm calling on. Sorry, I just want the to young lady in the back, please. I just want to let my colleague okay. finish. But can I ask you Ladies and gentlemen, please? thank you very much. Appreciate but it. You, you told me in a previous interview that you told the leader of the Taliban that in no uncertain terms you would obliterate him if he dared not to follow every dotted I, cross T, comma, period. Abdul, I did, I did. Had a and conversation, had a number of conversations. Didn't you at one point tell him, I know exactly where you are, and give him the exact coordinates where he was? No, I sent him a picture of his house. He said, but why, but why do you send me a picture of my house? I said, you'll have to figure that one out. I said, if you do anything, we're going to hit you harder than any country has ever been hit. He said, I understand your excellency. And he called me your excellency. I don't know if he calls by, but I will tell you this. We didn't lose one soldier in 18 months. And by the way, Biden got up and made a speech and he said. Okay, question? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. She's shocked that I picked her. No. It's like in a state of shock. I'm not thinking, Mr. That's President. okay. I know you're not thinking. You never do. I'm sorry? No, go ahead. Go ahead. You call the women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only is Rosie several... O'Donnell. No, it wasn't. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. You know, I had a beautiful life before I did this. I lived in luxury. I had everything. People said to me, are you sure you want to do it, sir? I said, oh, this will be so amazing. <laughs> they want to lynch you for doing nothing wrong. I didn't know they want to lynch you for doing a great job. I didn't know they want to put you away because your poll numbers are better than anybody they've seen in years. <laughs> we're leading Biden by a lot. And we're leading Kamala by a lot. And every time the polls go up higher and higher, the prosecutors get crazier and crazier. We got to stop these guys. He says, we have to stop Trump now. We got to stop him now because we can't stop him at the ballot box. You know, they tried that in 2016. How did that work out? Not too good.